Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new to the channel. Hi, my name is Nicole from Stay Home with Natalie Nicole. And today I have a huge home decor haul. I have a ton of like secret clearance stuff that I picked up from Walmart, Target. I have some stuff from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, a um, couple things from Amazon and um, maybe a couple other places. I'm not 100% sure. It's a lot of stuff I've just been accumulating lately. But if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's just jump right into it. So I'm gonna start off with Walmart first. Um, the first thing I got from Walmart wasn't on sale, but it was super, super cute. So I picked up this beautiful table runner and this is a juke table runner from the Better Homes and Garden line. And I believe I paid $15 for this, which is, kind of like the average price if you were to get one from like TG Maxx, Home Goods, or Marshalls, any of there, but I love it. It's kind of like a lighter jute color, and this would look really pretty for like the summertime, like a summer tablescape, um, some pretty white like napkins, and I can't wait to use this. All right, and then moving into the secret clearance stuff, which all of this stuff was 75% off, which was crazy. And I actually picked up two of these because I couldn't help myself, but I picked up the Contain the Chaos 10 piece bath edit set from the Home Edit Collection. And it is three large insert bins, four medium insert bins, and three small insert bins. And this is, the people from home edit and this is kind of like what it looks like and i know this was originally 25 dollars or 24 something and i got this for only five dollars now this was the only container set that was on sale the rest of them were still full price so if you guys are looking for good containers definitely use your walmart app when you're in the store grab the item and scan it and it will definitely show you the markdown price. So I picked up two of these. The next up, I have a couple things from the Pioneer Woman collection, and these were 75% off, which I was super excited about. So first up is these set of glass canisters. I've had my eye on for quite some time, and it just says embossed canister set. And these were originally $19.99, and I got them for only $5. I also did pick up two of these. I'm gonna use one of these in our guest bathroom, and I have the other one in the kitchen, like holding our dog treats and stuff like that. But these are super pretty. It's really pretty blue glass. And then next up, I have the Mix and Measure Bowl Set from Pioneer Woman. It is a five-piece set, and this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. I love like how she has like these really pretty gentle florals and different colors to them. And I believe this was also $20 and I got it on sale for only $5. Now I did see all this stuff come out like during her Christmas collection. So I don't know if the rest of the pieces are gonna be slowly being marked down. Um, like I said, these were like a hidden clearance thing. I just took my phone and scanned the barcode and it popped up as $5. And then the last thing from Walmart, I picked up this beautiful four quart Dutch oven with lid from Pioneer Woman. And I also got this for only $5, which is definitely a steal. I do have two really small ones like this. I don't know the exact size of it, but I love her pots and pans. She has really good dishes as well. So I was excited to get this for only $5. So moving into Target, all the stuff I got from Target was secret clearance items besides this one item right here, which I couldn't help myself, but it is the hearth and hand. What is this? The tic-tac-toe four in the row kind of thing. This was originally $14.99. It was 50% off for $7.49. And this will be cute for like when you have company or when I have my nieces or nephews over our house, they can play this game. And I love that it's made of wood. So next up, the next hidden clearance item were these beautiful, heavy, like kind of like ceramic garland beads from the Studio McGee collection. And it just says garland ceramic beads. These were originally $30 and I got this for $5. Now I did see like on Instagram, people were finding them for like 15 to $9. I checked the Target app to see if they had them in stock near me, but they didn't. And then one day I happened to go in there and I found two of them. So I scanned them and they came up for $5, which is a steal. And these are super, super heavy. Now I wouldn't hang these up because of how heavy they are. These were like really pretty, like hanging out of like a dough bowl or like styled on a bookcase or something like that. But I was excited to get two of these. 
Now you guys might hear Maya making some noise. We just got a new rug, like a little area rug in our family room and she's just dragging herself all around it and going a little crazy. But anyways, from the Target dollar spot, I picked up this adorable little hanging bell and it does make noise and I got it for only $5 and it just says wall mountain bell. And these are so cute. Now I do know they have this in a color red and when I picked it up, I got the very last black one and I've been to a couple different targets around me and I have not seen these anymore because I know certain things in Target dollar spot people go crazy for, but they don't restock them sometimes, which is really weird. So anyways, I'm planning on using this in our kitchen. I'm going to hang it along like one of the walls. I think it would look really cute. I am going to switch out the string. I'm probably going to put like a little twine ribbon on it, maybe no ribbon at all. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm definitely gonna switch out the white string. So moving into more hidden clearance, I picked up this beautiful basket from Studio McGee. Now I know a ton of people went crazy for this basket and it is actually pretty big. It's a nice little narrow one. So this will look really nice like hanging on a wall or something like that. But like I said, it's from the Studio McGee collection, I think. Um, no, I'm sorry. This one's from the Threshold collection, but they mixed it in with the Studio McGee stuff at my um, Target. And it's uh, 17 inches by 13 and 1 fourth inches by seven and a half. And it just says basket. And this was originally $40 and I got this for $10, which I thought was a steal. This was the very last one. I was hoping to find another one so I can use to like hang on the door and like stick some really pretty florals in it or just even having it sitting like around somewhere with like maybe a blanket, some florals, all that kind of stuff. It would be good to like hide kids toys, but I thought that was a good deal for that. And then next up, I picked up three of these, as you guys can see, I'm not gonna take them all out, but they're in the bags right here. And it is a, a bigger version of that basket. As you guys can see, it's got the really pretty scallop detail. It's got a lot of room to put a lot of stuff into. And this is the threshold basket. Um, I can't really say what it's called, lamp, lamp canet or something like that. Now this was originally, oops, this was originally $30 and guys, I got this for $7, which I thought was a steal. So luckily at my target, they just had three left. So I thought that would be like perfect for like our coat closet or something like that. I can put like hats in one, gloves in another, scarves or something like that. or like even put like my little handheld vacuums in one. You can put like shoes in here. So definitely a lot of things that you could do with these baskets. And I was really happy to find these. And then moving into Hobby Lobby, I picked up quite a few things. Um, the first things I picked up was actually Easter items and they were 90% off. And they are of these adorable, like primitive looking bunnies. They are made of like a, it's like a, I guess a plastic kind of, they're heavy though, but um, these were originally $4.99 and they were 90% off. Now I did pick up the same exact ones last year and I actually didn't see these in the store at the Hobby Lobby near me until the 90% off hit. So I'm wondering maybe if these got delivered late, but they had like a huge bin of them. So I was excited to find them again. And then with the flowers, I picked up quite a few things. Um, first off, I picked up another one of these beautiful wispy looking lavender bush stems. Um, these, this was originally $14.99 and I got it for 50% off and I love how realistic it looks and you can bend the little like stem parts right here and it's super wispy looking. Now I did have one in our family room so I thought I might as well grab another one. I can always find like a really pretty picture or a vase to put these in. So I originally went to Hobby Lobby to pick up two different kinds of flowers. Unfortunately, they didn't have the hydrangea one that I really, really wanted and it's sold out online. So I'm hoping, you know, next time I go into a Hobby Lobby and they're on sale, they do have them. But I also wanted these beautiful flowers. Now I did pick up six of them and these were originally $12.99 and I got the for 50% off. And this is what it looks like. It is so realistic looking too. I love it. It's got a super long stem, which you can easily just bend or, you know, trim down. But I love the flowers of these. They kind of look like hydrangeas. I forgot exactly what kind of flower it is. It's a, top of my head. It starts with a G, I think, but these are so pretty. And like I said, I got a total of six of them. I'm planning on putting them in one of my crocs that are on the floor. 
and kind of just, you know, bend the branches out a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic, which is a little trick for you guys. If you get flowers and you want them to look more realistic, literally just bend the stems in different shapes and different places and it'll help them make them look really realistic. Because as we know, natural flowers don't stick straight up in the air. They kind of do their own thing. So that's one thing that I highly recommend to do, but I absolutely love these and I'm hoping I can come across the hydrangeas. And then the last set of flowers I got were these really pretty, like kind of like delicate ones. I really didn't have the intention of getting these, but after I played around with them, I thought they were pretty cute. So I don't know what kind of flowers these are once again, um, but they were $5.99, then 50% off. And this is what it looks like. And like I said, you know, I'm gonna like play around with the branches and kind of, you know, let them do their own thing. So then I just got a couple more things from Hobby Lobby before we move on to the next store. So these items are from their spring shop and it was 40% off the week that I went. I still think they are 40% off. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's still 40% off. But first up are these two items. I've seen so many YouTubers use these year after year after year after year. Every time I check, they have been sold out, but they were actually sitting in a box that they were like, I guess, loading onto the shelves. I asked the person if I can grab them. He said, go ahead. So I picked up two of each. And the first one is of this beautiful little pedestal. This was originally $7.99 and then 40% off, but it's actually pretty heavy. It's kind of like made of like a, almost like a cement material, not maybe not 100% cement, but I love the detail of them. This will look really pretty with like a candle on top of it. And then I also got the bigger version of it and this was $12.99 and then 40% off. So let me just show you guys a little size difference. These will look really pretty like on a shelf in a bookcase, stuff sit on top of them. I'm really excited to find these because I've always wanted them. And like I said, I got two of each. And then next up, I picked up three more things from the spring shop. And I was actually really excited to find these because I've seen other people use them to style like in different ways with like, you know, the primitive farmhouse look. And there are three different sizes. So I picked up one of each size and these are actually plant stands which is surprising. I wouldn't use it as a plant stand. Um, obviously you don't want to use it as a stool, but I love how like worn out looking they are. They're all different. I looked at every single one of each size and they all have a different design. This definitely reminds me of like the old fashioned way that they put furniture, like they wouldn't use like nails or anything. They kind of would just do like, you know, the little cutouts and use glue. And I love this. So the smallest one, these were a little bit more pricier. So the smallest one was $24.99 and then 40% off. And then I got the medium sized one. It's a little bit taller and a little bit longer. And as you guys can see, that's the top. This one was $34.99, then 40% off. And then this is the biggest one. As you guys can see, this is the top. Now, for some reason, the bigger ones, they weren't as distressed as the small or medium ones. So I tried to find the one that I thought was like the closest to being like, worn out looking but the biggest ones were $49.99 so then moving into Amazon I just have one thing and I picked up this pack of artificial real touch tulips and what's neat about these tulips is that I got a pack of 10 is that they're all different looking and really realistic as you guys can see if you don't know what the real touch ones are they literally feel like real flowers I don't know what the material is but mine just hit my camera because she was sitting under the tripod. But I love these. As you guys can see, there's ones that are like fully closed, halfway closed, all the way open, partially open. It's like the different stages of them. And they are so pretty. They are like tied up in this little bundle, but you can untie them. And these will look really pretty, like, you know, moved around in like a pretty picture or a vase. And I think I got these for $14.99. It was either $14.99 or $12.99. They did have like a little sale on them. So I don't know what the full price was, but I thought these were a good deal for them. Definitely with how they look because I've seen ones at Home Goods that are really pretty, but they're not like super realistic. So then moving into Michael's, I just got a couple little things. I had like a coupon for my birthday and then I had like reward dollar points and stuff like that. So got these for super cheap, but I got a whole bunch of these really pretty like antique looking 
doorknobs and these were originally $7.99 a piece and I got them for 50% off of that. So here is just like how one looks. Super pretty. And these will look really nice like stuck in a bowl. Use it kind of as filler or have it like sprawn out on like a tray or a bookshelf. But I got one of each design and I like how each design is something different. They're not all the same designs. This one's definitely my favorite. And then lastly, moving into home goods, I just have a couple things from there. Did get a gift card for my birthday there, so I thought I might as well use it. First off, I got this really pretty dough bowl, and this was originally uh, $24.99 for it, which is kind of pricey, but honestly, it's pretty big. And I've never seen one like this deep before. I've seen like pretty shallow ones. I do like it. I'm thinking about I may stain it because obviously this isn't food safe or anything. It'd be used for decor purposes. So I may stain it a little bit because the natural wood is pretty, but it doesn't quite go with my house. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Then next up, I have been looking for new white uh, napkins for our kitchen table and for some odd reason, they have like a ton of bright colors, I guess because the spring and summer time's coming up. But my home goods before used to have like an aisle just of like the fabric napkins, like seasonal ones, all different kinds, everyday ones. And I don't know what happened. It's like a tiny little one shelf on an end cap. So I happened to go in one day and I was excited to find these. I think maybe I paid a little too much for them, but it's okay. But I got these really pretty white set of four napkins and i love like the little cross stitching design that they have right here and these are 7.99 for a pack of four and like i said for any of my table settings and stuff i always get stuff set for study, uh, seating of 12. so i did have to get four packs of them which i actually got the whole four packs that they had of this color and then the last thing i got from home goods i got for a steel and it is of like this wooden i don't know if my camera's gonna pull it in it's like of this like wooden lantern thing. I actually have one very similar to this that is on our console table, but this one is of a natural raw wood. And guys, this was only $19.99 for this, which I think this might've been like a mistake because I do notice that there's like the little tag right here because the one I paid for, like the one I have, the brown one, it's like really fancy and stuff was $40. So. I know I see these for $40. So the sticker must have fell off and they said, okay, we're just gonna make it 20 bucks. I don't care. I'm thinking about doing the same thing, probably staining it. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure. Maybe I might paint it. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy my home decor haul. And if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.